Good morning and welcome to Vlogmas Day 10. This month is flying by. Like, I need to start thinking about doing some present shopping. <laughs> so it's actually Thursday morning and I have not left my house since Monday afternoon when I went to Aldi to get a few groceries because I knew it was going to be like really cold. It's still really dang cold, but I really need to get some cat food. <laughs> And it's going to be snowing this afternoon, so I figure I might as well go at like 8 a.m., get my groceries out of the way. So really two main things on my grocery list, broccoli and cat food, and maybe something to cook this afternoon. I'm supposed to be having a visitor, so I may want to make us a little snack or treat type of thing. So before I officially shower and get myself ready for the day, I'm going to bundle up and head to Meijer. We have made it to Meyer. You can see the snow we got the last couple days. And it's supposed to snow more today, but then it's going to be in the 40s and 50s next week, so... I thought this coupon expired on the 11th, and it's good till the 18th. That's okay, we needed to come to Meyer anyway. So cat food, broccoli, and I have a coupon for $2 off your total produce purchase of $10. So with the broccoli, we're gonna get something else so we spend 10 bucks. And we will try to not get sucked into the Christmas leggings. I almost bought a pair last time I was here and talked myself out of it. If you don't know about Meyer, it has literally everything you could need. All of your healthcare, beauty stuff, clothes, shoes, electronics, pets, like everything. It's my favorite store. Okay, time to brave the feels like 16 weather. The Christmas lights are totally restocked, but no longer on sale. They were only $3 last week. where I get sucked into the red clearance sticker. Okay, but look at this. I decided while I was already out and about and cold, I would stop at Kroger. I wanna look for some more of that dip I had in another one of my Vlogmas videos. See if there's any of that on sale or clearance or just any other good deals in the produce section today. So I'm gonna take a quick trip into Kroger. Burr, you're lucky you get to live inside. Burr, that was cold. <laughs> I am staying inside the rest of the day. So quick grocery update while I warm back up. At Meijer, I got my cat food and my broccoli, and I also got some raisins, because I'm gonna make some cookies this afternoon and I need raisins. Red grapes were on sale, like 99 cents a pound or something, so I got a big bag of red grapes. I love these things. I did end up buying this dried mango thing. It, Sounds really delicious. So I got that for a little treat. 
I also got a little treat at Kroger, which at home I don't really do juices or smoothies or anything like that. If you listen to Dr. McDougall and a lot of the other plant-based doctors, they mostly agree that it makes the most sense to chew your calories as far as your satisfied signals and how many calories you absorb and burn by doing the digestive process. <laughs> Anyways, when I see these on clearance at Kroger, I do like to try them. I think this is the third flavor I've tried. It's a cold pressed juice. There's the ingredients and the nutrition. So like I said, I just consider this a treat. It is not a meal. It's not even a snack. It's 30 calories. So let's give that a try. That really tastes like cucumber. That's what this tastes like. Does it say it has lemon? Yeah, it doesn't taste very lemony. It's good, I like it. I would buy this flavor again when it's on clearance, not when it's like $3 a bottle. Also at Kroger, I got some corn tortillas because I was getting a little bit low on those. I got a little jar of dill relish. It was on sale for a dollar and I knew I was getting a little low on that too. Somehow it's already 9.30 a.m. and I definitely have a few more hours of editing to do to get today's video up. So I think I'm gonna make my breakfast, get at least another hour of editing out of the way, and then get in the shower and get dressed for the day. I think that's the plan. Good morning, Penny. Good morning. That's all for now. I'm sorry my washing machine is so loud and obnoxious if you can hear that going in the background. It's been about 45 minutes. I got no computer work accomplished. I didn't even turn on my computer. I did my dishes, got the laundry going, and just kind of cleaned up a little bit, put the groceries away. I only drank about half my juice, so now you can see how it's the cold pressed, how it separates like that. I don't do juice very often, but when I do, I really like this cold press stuff. It's time for my breakfast, not your breakfast. Your breakfast is dry, crunchy food. And that's what you get until this afternoon. We have this conversation every day. Just because it's my meal time doesn't mean it's your meal time. So here's my breakfast, a bunch of steamed broccoli. I don't know why, I just love that for breakfast in the morning. A slice of my lentil loaf shepherd's pie made in my meal prep the other day. I've already eaten half of that pan. It is so good. And I had some of my glaze left over that I put on that lentil loaf, which is barbecue sauce, ketchup, and sriracha. So I'm just gonna put some extra of that right on top. So that's breakfast. Good afternoon. I don't know where the time is going today, but it's going by very fast. It is now quarter after one, and I feel like I haven't accomplished much. I'm still working on my video for today. And I mentioned earlier that I might have a visitor this afternoon. The visitor is confirmed, should be arriving around two o'clock. She'll keep me posted. The visitor is my best friend, Becca, who you may have seen on my channel before. She lives down in Detroit and had to come up north for some work things, so she's gonna stop by my house for just an afternoon visit. We haven't seen each other since August. <laughs> Life just goes by way too quick. The day to day and then the month to month and the year to year, I mean, it just, it's crazy. Anyways, I have a few chores to complete in the kitchen before she gets here, including making us some cookies. So right now my lunch is in the oven and when that comes out, I'm gonna put the cookies in. And in the meantime, I need to take care of my water jug. This guy's almost empty and my delivery guy comes tomorrow. So I am going to pre-make some teas. 
So all I do is cold water in the tea bags. I'll write the date on the top of the lid and then I'll have these in my fridge so I'll have something cold and refreshing to drink ready to go. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Now this is my first attempt making cookies this way. I do this quite a bit with oatmeal and mashed up banana, but I have this leftover butternut squash from my meal prep a couple days ago. So I'm going to do a cup of butternut squash with a cup of oats and then with a quarter cup, I think, of raisins. And I am going to make oatmeal raisin cookies. Like I said, first attempt, so we will taste test these in a little bit. Obviously, I was not trying to make these very pretty. I'm not taking these anywhere. I'm just eating these at home. My timer just went off, so I'm gonna grab my lunch out of the oven and put these in. This is the baked mac and cheese and peas I made the other day in my meal prep. And at the very end of that video, I said I was gonna put that into the oven and get it more crispy, and that totally worked. It was very delicious. So this is my second little bread loaf of that. I had already eaten a little bit of it, but I put it in the oven and it starts to get the bread crumbs brown and crispy and delicious. So I'm gonna let this cool for a minute and I wanted to show you an update on my sprouts that I started back day four or three something. So it's been either six or seven days. These are definitely done. Oh, looking so good. I think I should probably harvest these out of this container. I think I'll do that right now. I love to eat these with chickpea of the sea, with tomatoes, either in a salad or a wrap. I didn't have as many seeds going on the second tray. That's why it's like half full. Oh, these are so fresh and crispy. I think I need to eat some of these this afternoon in some sort of snack. Don't those look so fresh, so delicious, yum. I'm going to eat my baked mac and cheese and then I have just a little bit of chickpea of the sea, which I think is almost a week old. I should really finish that up today with my new fresh sprouts. Obviously, I need to feed my cats. <laughs> and then Becca should be here in 20 or 30 minutes, so hopefully I can get her to say hi to the vlog. 
think we're gonna wait and have lunch with Aunt Becca. If I feed you now, you'll just run and hide and won't come out when Aunt Becca's here. Can we wait a little bit? Look at your cute face. You're so cute. You're so cute. Aunt Becca got held up and we couldn't wait for lunch any longer. Here's my cookies. I haven't tried them yet, but I think they look pretty good. I feel like they'll be a little crispy on the outside and chewy on the inside. I guess I need to claim that one as mine since I've put my hand all over it. <laughs> Okay, oh, Becca's too tall. <laughs> We're doing a taste test with the butternut squash oatmeal cookies. You might want to get one with a lot of raisins. Yeah, because there's no sweetener in them. So that's why I got the maple syrup. So I'm going to try it without. I thought it was carrot. I love that you worked in a vegetable into your dessert. You must not have seen my baked oatmeal video. Mm. <laughs> Chewy on the inside, crispy on the outside. That's what I predicted. I said that in the last clip when I was poking this one. I think it's good. Yeah. Um, but I'm gonna try it with maple syrup because I love maple syrup. So I think if I added the maple syrup into the mixture. I'm gonna pour so that I'll be sanitary. Well, I I didn't double dip. <laughs> <laughs> Rotate dip. I'm about to double dip though. Mm -hmm. I think it needs some maple syrup. It kind of reminds me of like breakfast. Mm -hmm. I'm double dipping now. Tastes just like an oatmeal cookie should. I think I might like this better than the banana. But the applesauce I think was the best. Mm -hmm. mm. Imagine that in a muffin. Mm -hmm. A mini muffin. I would ask your recipe but I guess I can just go back and watch the video. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so before I end today's vlog, Miss Becca has a funny story about her shirt. Oh, we can wait till you're done chewing. <laughs> do you like? So, Lands and Catalog, my Black Friday purchase to myself that I treated. And I was in the area today because I was dropping off a Christmas gift to one of my best clients. And I said, take my coat off. He says, oh, you must be heading up to Traverse City to their party tonight, their ugly sweater party tonight. <laughs> And I'm like, no, I wasn't even invited. Are you calling my sweater ugly? <laughs> That's. I was like, it's. He's like, it's mismatched. I'm like, it's intentional. Yeah, it looks like PJs. I think. That's I guess my funny. Sweater that story. is funny. It can are go you, either direction. Are right? you going to an ugly sweater party? <laughs> That's kind of rude. I would. <laughs> Maybe ask the question, are you going to the ugly sweater party? Find out the answer, and then you can comment on the... Like, <laughs> yeah, or before I take my jacket. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. Okay, well, we are going to go have some... You can stay in. Stay in for the goodbye. We're going to go have some friendly catch-up time now since we haven't seen each other in three and a half months. Mm -hmm. So, thank you for joining me for Vlogmas Day 10, and I will see you back tomorrow for Day 11. Be well. Say be well. Bye, be well. <laughs> <coughs> Hello, Penny. What is it, Penny? Is it lunchtime? You're so pretty. You're so pretty. You're so pretty. Oh, you're so cute. Look at your cute little face.